Luis Antonio Tagle, called the great Asian hope for the papacy, is in Vatican City to elect a new pope in the conclave. In his hometown of Imus Cavite, you don't have to look far for traces of Tagle, the priest and the person. Here in the town center, there's a monument showing his father's long lineage in Imus. Tagle and politician Dick Gordon share a common ancestor, General Jose Tagle. Like the Cardinal, the General was described as a man who came from a good family but lived a simple life. Tagle grew up about a block from the town center. He was raised in this house by middle class parents who worked in a bank and were devout Catholics. Tagle's parents are not there when we visit. His aunt's house looks empty, and many of those who work with Tagle at the parish refuse to talk. At the cathedral where Tagle served as bishop, the staff say he ordered them to refuse media interviews until a new pope is named. The church frowns upon speaking to media before the conclave and overtly campaigning for the papacy. Tagle, known for being an approachable and modest pastor, is a local legend. He once rode a tricycle at dawn to deliver Simbanga B Mass after the priest who was supposed to say it got sick. Tagle's photo is everywhere at the local Our Lady of the Pilar Catholic School, proof of his support for children. The principal says it's thanks to Tagle's influence that a wealthy patron donated the lot where the school now stands. The most intimate view about the Philippines' top Catholic leader comes from his old friend. He says that even as a teenager, Tagle was disciplined. I guess he's the more disciplined one amongst us because he would always put a time limit when we hang out. Yes, he, he would say... I can give you guys, let's say, 30 minutes because I still have some things to do. Tagli is known in Imus for his baritone voice at Mass. And as a teenager, he loved music. He listens to, at the time, we listened to Motown music and the music of usually mellow, mellow sounds, R&B, Jackson 5. Tagle had simple tastes. Feast on pandesal and sardines. That's all we eat at that time. It's clear that the simple, disciplined, and kind cardinal has endeared himself to Imus. But will the Vatican love him as much? Catherine Visconti, Rappler, Imus Cavite.